If you have multiple people using ProCare, you'll probably want some control over who can do what. To do that, we'll go to the Configuration menu and the System Settings, and we'll take a look at User Groups and Limits. You'll see this item has a multicolored shield next to it, so this is only visible if you're logged in as a system supervisor. We'll double click to open it up, and you'll see that I have several different groups already set up. System Supervisor is the default setting. It's the highest group level with unlimited access to the system, and that is a locked setting that can't be changed. But each of these other ones can be customized, uh, or we could create a new one. For example, let's say I wanted to create another one called Office Assistant, and I'll tap Enter a couple of times on my keyboard. That'll add it to the bottom of the list. Then I can click once on that, and maybe I want to reposition it. I might want to move it up so it's right below my regular Office staff group. So now my new group I've selected, and I'll go to the Group Limits button at the bottom. This is where I can decide what people in this group are able to do or really not to do. I'll click the Collapse button so that I'm looking at just the overall categories. So what would I want people who belong to this group not to be able to do? What do I want to prevent them or block them from doing? Well, I can block an entire category just by checking it off right here. So I may not want people in the office assistant group from running utilities or corporate reports. I might not want them doing payroll. I might not even want them doing system configuration. That's actually part of what we're doing right now. So I'll check that off. But I do want their help in family data and accounting, so I'll leave that category unchecked. Then I can click the plus sign and drill in to more specific information. So within family data, if I have the agency accounting module, I may not want the office assistant uh, people uh, from posting things related to agencies. I may not want them tracking mail served, but I will want their help in these other areas. Then I can continue to drill in. Let's take a look at family accounting, for example. Within family accounting, one of the sections is the ledger card of families, the account ledger. And there are a couple of things in here I may want to block. For example, uh, people who are assistants, I may not want them to be able to modify a ledger entry. That means make a change to it after it's already been posted, like a payment or a tuition charge or something like that. I'm going to block that. I might not even want them to be able to do the next one on the list either, which is void account ledgers. I may want to reserve voiding for myself or maybe my director or someone at a higher level. So I'll mark those two off. We'll click Save. And now I have effectively blocked some overall categories and also drilled into a specific area and blocked certain settings within that. We'll go ahead and click Exit. And now I have a new group set up that I can assign to people who are at the office assistant level. And that's all there is to it.